So I don't really do this this often, but I am gonna tell you a story because we have just entered spooky season. Um, yeah, we are indeed in October. That's crazy. I thought it's still like uh, June, honestly. I don't know. I'm still wearing shorts, that's for sure. <laughs> but anyways, I want to tell a story about how I dressed up as my favorite ever character of all time back when I was five. Now, my mom and grandma are amazing creators. And after I saw Shrek Forever After back in 2000. Uh, 11, uh, a year after it came out, I really, really, really like Rumble still skin. And whenever I really like a character, I want to be him for Halloween. So there were no costumes, nothing really, everything that we could find was ass. So they came together and made something fucking incredible. There he is. The man, the litmus, the legend himself, Rumble. One of my favorite villains of all time in an animated series. He's just so funny, he's so charismatic. He's uh, honestly a little bit menacing compared to all the other Shrek villains. But yeah, I just hope he doesn't like go down as like a, a meme. Okay. No! So, as we all know, yesterday Dream did his official face reveal. And let's just say people are less than impressed. And it's just bonkers how wild all this stuff got in just like a few hours. The first couple of minutes, he's ugly, was trending all over Twitter. It was crazy. Put the mask back on, Shane Dawson, Rumpelstiltskin, and <laughs> Rollface. All this shit is just so bonkers. And I kind of just wanted to come and share my favorite dream memes that have come out of all of this. But I do want to explain at first, like, I don't poke fun at people's appearances, like, in a rude way, unless they're a dickhead. And, like, I get where people, like, are, like, going, rushing to defend them and saying everyone is rude. But I'd say, like, 99% of this stuff is, like, a joke, with the occasional 1% really pissed off because of some things Dream has done that hasn't really been explained. But, um... As we all know, I'm not really that good looking of a guy either. And I had my ups and downs. I had a glow up. I had a glow down. I think recently kind of a glow down from 2021. But, um, yeah, I have my appearance poked fun at in rude ways. And I know it doesn't feel nice, but I've learned to grow a thick skin. And I'm sure Dream has a thick skin too. But I also do want to share my thoughts at the end. But, you know what? With all the... <coughs> I am sick as a dog. Okay, with all of that out of the way, um, let's get into the memes. And um, I do have something to share at the end, my thoughts about it, and what I honestly think could have gone better. Let's get right into it. So, we are going to start off with um, a bunch of them um, all in one post. People saying this a little after he did the face reveal. Um, we got Shane Dawson, Edward Cullen. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> All of those are like such facts. So Shane Dawson, that's a no-brainer. You literally com compare them. There's there's videos of um, Dream turning into Shane Dawson, kind of like the Logan Paul emo guy, <laughs> and it's like uncanny. They look exactly the same. And then also we have. Uh, Rumpelstiltskin, that is clear from the hair, the face, the teeth. That is a no-brainer. But also, it hurts my heart, man. Rumpelstiltskin's my boy. And then, finally, we have Edward Cullen. That's a no-brainer either. The chin, the expression, everything. How they both look like the sad, depressed TikTok boys. So, yeah, this is uh, really good. So, in this one... 
Um, we have the troll face, uh, the guy from Jimmy Neutron in the, um, sodium chloride bit, and Robostilskin again. Sodium chloride guy, that's a no-brainer either. You can, it's just mainly the chin. That's a problem. And the fact that he was looking at one angle the whole time is such, like, a big issue. I saw my friend, um, also talking about it, who doesn't mind how Dream looks, and I'll say it myself, I don't care. I don't care. He, he just looks like an average looking guy. We'll talk about it at the end, but anyways, um, my friend says, like, it, it, it's like a weird how he's just looking to one side. It's like this side? Yeah. It's just looking at the side. It's so much so that Meat Canyon, in less than 24 hours, made a whole bit about it that he has, like, a fucking leech right there that he sucks milk out. Meat Canyon is the goat, man. That's another good one. Look at this fucking... Oh, this frame is disgusting. <laughs> this shit... This shit got me bawling out laughing in school. This was hilarious. I love this fucking thing. Oh my god. So yeah. Okay, so then we have four more new ones, which all of these are just about the chin. But the chin is like weird. It's just strange. So we have American Dad Guy. <laughs> we have American Dad Guy, which is sadly cut up, but he looks like this if you are confused. Looks a lot like Dream. Just put them side by side. Their chins are fucked. Um, same as Quagmire, clearly. Um, then we have the uh, Count type. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. Back when I was a Game Theory fan, Food Theory, um, he went into a deep dive of Count Chocula, Chocula and about how all of it is incestuous. And basically, they have fucked up chins um, throughout the breeding it's like interesting but also you have the crimson chin um <laughs> it's all about his chin which i find hilarious like his chin doesn't look bad but like come on i i don't know it's just like all chin but like i don't know it's it's jokes man it, it's funny that they're making these comparisons and they're actually kind of similar okay so i just have been editing the video and i realized i missed one this is my favorite one ever. Fucking die already. Just give up and die. All right, we're gonna do a speed through until the end, um, which is a big one. So we got Hello Neighbor Guy, Gregory, the fucked up looking dog, bruh, Biden. But <laughs> he didn't say put the mask back. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> oh man. And, uh,. Wow, it's just, it's just crazy. And then finally, this fan art. Or fan art, as some people are calling it. Which is... Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my word, what is that thing? Oh, <laughs> the fact that... Uh, <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? So yeah, that's a little speed round and then we're gonna get into the last two. These last two are fucking wild. So here with the second to last one, um, is this, uh, Snapchat story, which... I don't know if that's real, but if that is, Jesus Christ! Not a fan, damn. So, here with the last one, though, um, is the comparison to this Dream leak in 2021 and what Dream actually looks like. So, in this Dream leak, clearly see, um, he has blonde hair, he's a bigger guy, and, um, he's got, uh, mouth, eyes, bit of a jaw, 
but then you compare it to the 2022 dream and they're weirdly similar like um and the leak when that came out was came with a name and it said clay and dream called himself clay flashback talking to a camera for the first time hi my name is clay otherwise known as dream online so if that is true and he's not bullshitting which he probably is that means that that leak possibly is him unless they just got the name and they were looking for a photo so they're like ah fuck it but if that is him which all the similarities match up and people have put filters on him and they look exactly the same when he's like fattened up then dream had a pretty good weight loss thing and maybe his whole not coming out of the mask is like all about his like like weight or something like that and I guess I can kind of see that as, like, a bigger guy. Yeah, it's, like, fucking tough, but that brings us into our last thing here. Um, so let's get into it. So, all these memes, right, they're funny, they're jokes, they're ha-has, but there's genuine discourse and, like, um, people rushing to defend Dream and people fighting back. And I'm just here to settle it. At the end of the day, I don't think, like, faceless creators should be a thing. That may seem like I hate them. I don't. But this whole thing about, like, not showing the, your face to the public, that's fair. That's fair. It, everything, everything changes when you show yourself to the public. When people see who you are after supporting you for so long, it's huge. But if you start at the beginning already showing yourself, then that's better. Because people are just going to be like, oh, that's him? Okay, let's go. Let's get into it with the new vid. Or just like, oh. This guy looks like this, blah, 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 but he's kind of funny. Let's just say he's ugly and funny. Okay. You have a new fan who doesn't like your looks. And it, it just doesn't matter because with time, as you build yourself and more and more subscribers sub to you, less people care about your looks and care more about your talents. With this whole dream thing, I kind of get why he didn't want to show himself. He said in this video, like anyone can be behind the mask and he didn't really like want to be out there. He didn't want to deter people from that like thing. And uh, I don't know, but it's, it's like the backlash just like is massive with like all this time put in. As a faceless creator all this time, all these kind of expectations over the years, it builds and builds and builds until it explodes when you start doing your face reveal and you make a ton of creators act surprised when in the end all your fans are kind of disappointed. When all of the haters get more fuel against you and all of the memers get fuel because they get fuel from anything. But um, if you just are out there and you are face, you are face to face with your viewers, you are honest with your viewers, you are putting yourself out there, then that is better than waiting too long and then doing that. People shouldn't care. People shouldn't care what you look like because YouTube is not about that. The internet is not about that, unless you're an OnlyFans. But none of this is about that. It's about what talent and what you bring. Are you inspirational? Are you funny? Are you creative? Are you good at video games? Are you good at anything? Cooks, video game players, um, artists, drawing artists too. And just like what you bring to the table with like animated story times with um, Minecraft speedruns, with comedy sketch videos. What do you bring to the table? 
Because there are some ugly ass people on every single platform, and some of them are the funniest. Look at Danny DeVito. It's just better to just be out there because none of this matters. None of this matters about your whole face thing. But with time and progression and people only liking you because they don't know who you are, it's either you don't do this or like you do it sooner. If you do it sooner and you just act like it's a normal thing, like, oh, I'm just revealing myself after I got a little popular. Yeah, you have a little fan base, you reveal yourself, and you still get popular with what you do. People will still see your face and be like, oh, that's what he looks like. Or like, if he goes the way he wants to, uh, let's say past view, let's say he revealed himself at a million subscribers. New fans get interested in him, like, oh, what does stream look like? Because he would not do face cam, like he said in his uh, reveal video. And you look it up and you find dream face reveal right there front and center. And they're like, okay, he looks like that, an average looking guy. And then nobody cares. But you make it care by m making this build up. By making it build up, it just makes a worse issue. So that's why I don't really like relate to those areas. Like I get um, Penguin Zoe, he was really shy and, like, introverted and, like, um, not really out there. And, like, he just did videos for fun over ten years before he got the confidence to do a face reveal. And maybe Dream was the same. But don't act like it's, like, some massive thing. Or do it acting like it's some massive thing. Because it's not. All this to say, at the end of the day, what do I know? I have been doing this since I was nine. My face was out there to the public since I was nine. I am now 16 and I have, I have a skin thick and hard like cock <laughs> skin thick and hard like bedrock. I don't give a flying fuck what you say about me because I have learned to adapt. I have learned that like all the look stuff that you get thrown at, it's always gonna happen, it's always gonna come. But just don't let it get to you. Literally the only thing, and you can see this on my Instagram, go follow me, link in the description by the way. But the only thing that people get against me in arguments is that I am fat and I play Fortnite. Number one, thank you for scrolling through my feed because I haven't posted Fortnite content since December 2021 and mostly I'm talking about uh, life, my birthday, and music. Number two, that's really all you have on me? If you want to roast me, look for the deeper details, my guy. Oh, you're bad at boxing. I was five, but you can use that. You're terrible at boxing. You don't go to the gym. Except for, you're fat, go to the gym. That doesn't affect me. Hit me where it counts. Find something new and unique. And hit me where it counts. Fight back. And fight back in a hard way. Because none of this affects people. And that's the point. Dream has 30 million subscribers. 30 million. You know how crazy that is? If, like, YouTube says in every Diamond Play button, that's bigger than New York City, then Dream has three New York Cities. And you are rushing to defend this guy, acting like he has a skin softer than a baby's ass. Dude, he has 30 million. Me, at 200, almost 300 subs, doesn't care about anything. Imagine Dream. He just scoffs at it and doesn't even comment back. So, at the end of the day, Dream is not terrible looking. Like, he looks fine, but the overhype um, absolutely destroyed him. Now, the question is, was that because of all these TikTok fucks hyping him up? Was it about the time hyping it up? Or was it about himself hyping it up too much instead of just coming out to the public quicker? Who knows, but at the end of the day, 
Um, I guess congratulations, Dream, because you look like my favorite character. And also the weight loss. I'm really proud of you for your weight loss. But it seems like, seems like you have a little too much weight in the chin still. I suck his dick with a smile for hours at a time Stare at his nutsack while I hold back my cum tonight And when he asks me what position I say doggy style And when they ask me what position I say doggy style The fact is I can never get off of his fat dick